Tick tock on the clock, wanna see a clock on my phone. I Google image search clocks. That's a clock. That looks more like, that doesn't look like a clock. That looks like a boat. It doesn't look like a boat. I lied about that. My name's Drew Monson. This is my second channel where I lie about boats. This is my second channel where I just talk unfiltered, unedited, unless I feel like doing both. Usually I don't, cause I hate using computers. Windows XP, get out of me. Wow, so smart. So smart. I want to stay on topic today because I feel like I keep doing kind of clickbaity titles, but I actually fulfill the promise, but it's not until like minute 20. And before that, I'm talking about like, okay, here's the thing about popcorn. Let me, let, let's have a conversation about salted caramel brownies. And then the, whoever might have been like, ooh, this title, you know, it's called YouTubers That Are Weird. And I actually say a couple around minute 27. But before then, it's just like, why is a guitar shaped like? Like that. Um, TikTok though, for real, on the clock. Isn't it funny that Kesha, the singer, made a song called TikTok back in the day and now it's a freaky app? That's not funny. Nobody's laughing. Not even my 21 year old adopted British son. Are you laughing, son? I'm reading. What are you reading? A series of unfortunate. You're 20. You're reading a series of unfortunate events. That was popular in 2005 for nine-year-olds. You're 21 in 2022, honey boo-boo. I don't like you. I don't like honey boo-boo. Why is she getting hurt? Listen, <laughs> let's talk about TikTok for real, if I can. And it's hard to stay on topic these days. Okay. <laughs> So like a lot of this, I know I'm over explaining and I can't, this is what happens. I say one thing, I feel insecure about that thing that I said, and then I talk about and almost defend that like one, it's like when you get in an argument about with somebody about two sentences that were said two hours ago and you almost lose track of it completely. You're like, where did this start again? You said that my shirt was nice, but it sounded like you were saying my other ones weren't. You know what I mean? Okay. TikTok. My first question is, did it used to be more popular? Am I talking, like obviously it's like the number one app, but at the same time, I feel like a year ago I was getting texted like five to seven TikToks a day, and now it's like one a week. That's the only way that I really see TikTok. I don't have the app, which is kind of frustrating because when you click on like the TikTok link, it'll just like, you know, it brings you to Safari, which is always, I mean, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, I can't help you. Just kidding. I made that joke uh, to one of my friends recently and they said it was elitist, but then I was like, are Androids even cheaper? I'm pretty sure they have like thousand dollar Androids, honey boo boo. Why am I calling everyone honey boo boo? I hope she's okay. <laughs> Being so nervous to hurt the feelings of the internet that which by the way is complete TikTok brain that I'm scared to mention honey boo boo child in case she's not doing okay and now people are mad at me um but what was i saying oh it you bring it brings up the safari page and it's like 35,000 comments and you know a part of my brain lights up and it's like ooh what are people talking about and then it's like download and I honestly I, I have like a couple times it's always horrible that's my main problem with TikTok the times I've tried it it's this thing I've noticed happens when I use social media that is so maddening and it's this pattern I get into where like okay let's say there's a video where someone's like you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get a cat from Petco, right? Which like fair, whatever. And then the comment is actually my ma papa. And then you see the person saying the opposite thing. And then under it, you see the opposite of that opposite. And then under it, and then you're looking at, I'm looking at how many likes each one got. And I'm like, wait, is that person right? Do I agree? I'm like identifying with one of them or each of them. And then somebody calls that person I identified with stupid. And then I feel stupid. And it just like fuels this turmoil that is developing in me, I think from social media, of like, what is right? What is morality? Am I stupid? Are my thoughts correct? Being almost like afraid to have a thought, like not even to express it, but being afraid of my thoughts being wrong and being judged, even though it's not coming out of, you know what I mean? It's so frustrating. And that's what, maybe you're watching it like, I don't know, man, I just turn on TikTok and it shows me a bunch of dogs and I take a nap. Like, but for me, it's this total like, 
I just feel like I'm watching arguments happen and it frustrates me. Like I feel sick, I feel poison entering my bloodstream when I see somebody like, actually, wait, are you seriously saying this? And I'm like, wait, I agreed with the thing that they were seriously saying. Am I, should I lock myself in a cage? Like I get so, and, and then I'm like, I'm getting so mad. You ever have this moment? I'm getting so mad at somebody. I'm like, why would you say that? Why are you allowed to talk? And you click on their profile and it's like 13 he him and it's like okay I need to put my phone in a bathtub I need to give my phone so much of a bath that it is not functional anymore not to say that 13 year olds are not allowed to have opinions they probably have interesting ones but they are known for you know having very uh maybe some would say over emotional brains sometimes and they're lacking a lot of context I don't need to explain myself I, I, I think I'm terrified and again TikTok brain of like a 13 year old watching this video and saying so what I say doesn't matter which it does honey boo boo it really does but it it's different oh, now I'm scared I heard a 13 year old <laughs> okay how are you doing what am I oh I wrote down a bunch of things and my notes app is always so confusing tell me like I I'm always like, oh, it'll make it easier for me to make a video if I write down some notes, just to glance at really quick. And then it turns into this. It's like a whole essay. Like, I wrote this down. Do I need funny every day? I have no idea what that means. I wrote it 17 minutes ago. I do not know what the, oh, you know what? Actually, it, my, it was a point about TikTok. Was like, I feel like the point of it is humor, right? I guess there's also like mental health stuff happening, which again is like, I don't even wanna start. Like that is just a rabbit hole of, again, me feeling like the thing that I was thinking is, actu is actually proof. The fact that I thought it is actually proof that I should not be allowed to talk anymore. And then I just hate myself more than I already have been, I don't know, conditioned to by society. When a 26 year old white man thinks he's been conditioned to hate himself, but he's actually not wrong because we all have. Wow, he went there, he recognized his privilege, but he also recognized the pain of everybody at the same time and you kind of went, huh, okay. <laughs> But I was thinking about like how TikToks are supposed to be funny, like a lot of it, like the things that people send me. No one's ever like, check out this TikTok on mental health. Like that's just something that you do alone in your bed and you kind of resent it, but it's kind of interesting. But a lot of it's funny, but the, t the turmoil I'm talking about, that like angry, that feeling I get of just watching a group of people argue and how uncomfortable that is, it is not worth the laughs. Like I've watched, my sister loves TikTok. I almost am positive she doesn't watch these videos. I keep giving her shout outs and I'm receiving no texts about it. Maybe I'll send her this one and say, I talk about you on minute 14 and she'll be like, yeah, you're still, you've been talking about brownies for too long. I'm Audi. And I'm like, we grow up together. But um, she'll, you know, I've seen her sitting there when we hang and she watches, you know, TikTok on her day off. She's a hard worker. Scared to say my sister doesn't work hard. Okay. She'll watch that and it'll just be like, <laughs> and she'll do that for like two and a half hours. And it's like, for her, I think it's a pleasurable, that's the other thing about this. Like, I think that a big part of this is that I can't handle things that someone like my sister can kind of just sit there and go, <laughs> and look at the comments and go, <laughs> I agree, <laughs> I don't agree. I'm <laughs> making her sound <laughs> dumb all the time. <laughs> like, no, she has other thoughts besides ha <laughs> ha. But, um, you know, like, I, I, I don't know that if for me, the laughter is worth, I, I feel like I had a point here. Basically what I'm saying is, do I need to laugh all day? Do I need, like people will show me a TikTok and it'll be a, a guy falling down like on purpose in a really funny way. And it, like someone showed me this one, I, I'm gonna try to describe a TikTok right now. It was like, play the lowest note on the piano and the highest note. And it was very, com TikToks are also so complicated, like, Sidebar, I feel like they represent what a 13 year old right now in 2022's brain requires, which is, it literally is somebody of, of first of all, it's a video of a person looking at the camera. So you're kind of taking in their facial expressions. And also it's a song. And also you're reading an essay. It's three to four things at once. Sometimes there's also a demon that you're 
feeling the energy of actually always. Um, <laughs> while I was saying that last thing, I started getting a little bit of tinnitus and I was scared that I was about to go down for the count. You understand what I'm talking about. I don't. I'm reading Lemony Snicket. I don't have time. I'm on book three. What was the lead character? Was the, wait, was the guy in A Series of Unfortunate Events named Lemony Snicket? What was the guy's name? Jim Carrey played him. Count Dracula. That's it. You're so frustrated. You're like, no! <laughs> um, gosh, I feel like I just, I, I start all these threads and it becomes a jungle gym. And I'm like, wait, where'd it go? I don't know what I was talking about. Man, am I gonna have to do, the few times when I'm making these videos, if you see me, I go, one second. And what I do is I put my memory card into the computer. I watch where I was, which man, I wish I was like Adam Sandler on click. Wow, I, I just realized I kind of am. I kind of, if I'm filming myself, wait, we just touched on something and we're both freaking out, right? Like I can kind of rewind my life if I'm filming it anyway. Okay, you're freaking out me too. I was talking about how it, things don't need to be funny all the time. Oh, I was gonna describe a TikTok. So the piano, it was the lowest note ever and it was the guy and, and somehow it goes bong and then a guy's going like this and then you're waiting for the highest note and it goes ding. And all of a sudden, he goes poof, and he turns into a pile of clothes, and the clothes fall down. You're gonna have to look this one up. And also, I don't think it was a piano, it was a harp, but kind of the same thing. Isn't it weird that pianos have strings in them, and they're a stringed instrument? That always blew my melon. <laughs> But something like that isn't worth then going into the comments and somebody saying like, why is he wearing that shirt? You know what, the brand that makes those actually ba ba ba, and I'm like, okay, good point, but can I just enjoy a laugh? And then someone under it says that, and I'm, but then even though I agree with it, I'm like, shut up, why'd you copy my thought? I think what this video is proving is that I'm just an angry person. I wrote down some other things about TikTok. Oh, also, uh, from the side of like a person who could, because people will say to me like, you should make a TikTok, like you'd be popular on TikTok, because I already have like an audience. It sounds so, I mean, I was gonna say it sounds cocky, but I guess it's true. The word audience though, it sounds like I'm about to perform like a symphony for you, which wouldn't it be amazing? You turn on a Drew Monson vlog, I've got a violin, mommy's got a harp on her head. Just say the thing that was not worth it, saying mommy's got a harp on her head. What if that's the thing? Cause sometimes I'll say something like that and I'll be like, that was pointless. And then seven years later, someone will come up to me in public like, mommy's got a harp on her head. And I'm like, thank you, I knew it. But it usually takes many, many days. Um, by the way, I never get recognized in public. It's ridiculous at this point. I know I've said, this is the most embarrassing thing I could say, but I love saying those types of things. I, it's been about two months. I'm on a dry spell and I, I used to get recognized like once a week. And by the way, the last time I brought this up, people gave me a lot of theories, hypotheses for why I might not be getting recognized. They all hurt my feelings. Let me just say that. Um, but it doesn't actually matter. There is just sometimes when I'm at the store and I'm like, nobody for two months, nobody's like, ah. Okay. Gosh, I lost it. I lost the thread. This is a frustrating, let me just look at, oh, okay. Wait, no, I have it. You try doing this. It's not, oh, by the way, I forgot to talk about my shirt. Hashtag I'm at Ellen. I thought it was fun. Ah, I wanted to say this in the beginning, but hashtag I'm at Ellen. My friend works at like a clothing store. It was only $2. And I was like, how am I not going to get hashtag I'm at Ellen? It's clearly something you can only get if you go to see Ellen live. And the fact that it was at like a vintage, like, you know, secondhand shop. I think we all know the story there. Some mom went to Ellen and, you know, two years ago, Ellen got the big C canceled and she was like, I don't want it anymore and gave it to me. And now hashtag I'm an Ellen. And it's funny because it's a lie. Hashtag I'm not an Ellen. Hashtag I'm at my room making a video. I should have a, video, a shirt that says that. Hashtag I'm at Drew Monson's apartment because I am him. Okay. As a person who could make a TikTok, people say to me, like, you could be big on there. And I think that I honestly could, like, but it kind of scares me. I know that's such an annoying thing. To, I'm kind of scared of becoming too famous. But like, here's my question. Cause I've seen people who get big on TikTok. Does it translate to anything else? I've heard you don't even make that much money unless you're like one of those teenagers that has like a hundred million followers, which Sidebar, I don't even want to get into how kind of scary that is that like, what, <laughs> 
10% of, I don't do math very well, but the earth follows like a 17, like that's just kind of insane. But um, yeah, I don't know if you actually make money and so, so if you don't, and, and I've also seen people get big on TikTok and like try to translate it into check out my new video and their video isn't getting viewed. So it's like, what would it be besides just being, and of course I just like talked about being needy and wanting to be, but I kind of say that in a funny way because I really, I, it's just kind of weird sometimes. Like I think that getting recognized in public, I know I'm going on a sidebar, but I was thinking about it because there's this place in LA that I, it, it's called Saddle Ranch, I think. If you don't know about this. I guess it's a place that like vloggers and TikTokers go to be recognized, but also fans or just people ironically kind of interested in this weird world where there's like a million famous people on the planet, but it's still kind of exciting, but sort of funny to see one of them. And they all go, like people, I guess like take trips to LA now to see famous people at this bar. They just hang, but I kind of get it. Like on one hand, it's like, seriously, YouTubers, you're going to a place where you know people are like taking pictures of you. But at the same time, I've been to like VidCon a couple times it it is nice to have proof that you are because it's so weird I feel like I'm popular like in the metaverse or something like I feel like I have to put on VR goggles where if I write something on Twitter right now a hundred people might respond if I go out into the world no one really cares and it can be kind of confusing so I understand why that 17 year old on tick, well actually, the 17 year old with 100 million followers probably goes to the bathroom and people are like, are you Addison Ray?" <laughs> That's a horrifying thought. <laughs> Addison Ray can't even use the bathroom anymore. What am I talking about? Okay, but I don't really wanna make a TikTok because I feel like it would be so bad for my mental health. Like it's, it really is like a thought experiment, like a question of how much do I care about money and fame? Because I know like, it could be like a self-fulfilling thing and maybe it would just be negative for me, but with my brain and the way that it works and the sadness I get from getting hate on the internet and the, that's the thing, TikTok commenters, like, I don't, is there anything, is there anything more ruthless? Because here's, my theory has been that TikTok is an app that is watched by all ages, but maybe a, a bigger percentage of like 13 to 17. And also my theory is the conversations and what comments are liked and what you actually see on TikTok is ruled by 13 to 17 year olds because 13 to 17 year old, or literally like nine to 17 year olds now have been have grown up with the internet their whole lives and they will just like click 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 like they I feel my theory is that they click 10 times more than like me or you a 26 year old I feel like you're 26 if you're not get over it why am I mad because you have an anger issue face it go to therapy I do you haven't texted her back that's literally not appropriate to, to I'm sorry I just want you to get better why did my son's voice get so deep? I'm talking about myself right now. <laughs> Why do I think that this is a real human? A real human? Okay. I'm so sorry. This is what we call a lull in a vlog. Um, but I don't know. I, I was trying to make this video shorter, by the way. I was like, this one's only gonna be a half an hour. Where are we at right now? I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I just, I don't know if it would be healthy for me to go to a place where, cause there's this, there's this TikToker named Caitlin Riley. Have you heard of her? She's the one who does like wasp mom and she does like really funny impressions of, you know, girls, like kind of like annoying people that you'd see at a party or if you went to parties, I've seen movies about parties. I have, I, I won't lie, I'm not gonna like act like I'm the least popular person ever. I've been to about 47 parties in my life, including birthday parties when I was eight. And you know, I, don't, I just don't wanna be fake right now and be like, I'm a loser, I never go to parties. And you're like, really? But honestly, you would be surprised, like you, again, there's a million people, uh, famous people on planet Earth. Even if you have like, you know, 100K video view average or whatever I'm working with right now, people do not invite you to parties. And it has shocked me since the day I reached a million subscribers. I was like, let's go, now I'm cool. Nope, I still, every Saturday, I'm like, no one's gonna text me, nobody, even to use me for my fame, nobody's gonna be like, 
My fame. True, you're supposed to like roll your eyes and do quotes when you say my fame. I'm all over the place today. I say that in every video. You try talking for 45 minutes and staying on topic, TikTok brain McGee. Wow. Okay, um, yeah, but I don't know. I just, I feel like, oh, so I saw her on a podcast and she's so funny. She's like, you know, like a pitch perfect comedic actress. And she was talking about like, I could tell that she was being poisoned by the tick. She was like, and people always get mad at me. And I was like, oh no, I cannot become. And I mean, I already am with like the small percentage of YouTube hate comments I get, but I cannot, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you get what I'm saying. Like if I, if I made a video, like, you know, I get ironic and I say something that sort of could be offensive if you didn't get that I'm completely joking and I actually, don't believe that at all and I would I feel like I would get like literally physically sick like if I were to make a video about my mental health and kind of make a joke like but I wish that ba 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 and it was kind of like messed up and for you know a week all of a sudden I'm getting pe like 14 he him person saying like I actually don't think you deserve to breathe and I half be like why am I listening to this 14 year old and half like is it true <laughs> is it true that I don't deserve to breathe I just feel like that would mess me up so much but then there is a part of me every day that's like let me just make a TikTok. Why don't, why aren't I doing, like, am I, I'm always, like, I've been on the internet making, it's, it's kind of crazy, I realized at this point. Like, I said this to my friend the other day, and immediately I was like, that's kind of a good quote. Tell me what you think of this one. I said, it's crazy, because I was talking to another YouTuber, and I said to her, isn't it crazy that we have, because they started when they were young too, I was like, we have 15 years of experience with something that has only existed for like 17 years. Like, I'm kind of proud of myself, like, I feel like we have some, and, I don't even remember what I was saying, but oh, I was saying that I'm sometimes I'm scared that I'm behind on the times and like you gotta be there for what's happening or you're gonna fall behind. Not that I'm falling behind right now, like I feel like I'm doing well enough, but sometimes I feel kind of like, are, I feel like I'm doing the best things that I've done right now and I've actually like found my voice of like what it means for me to sit in front of a camera and kind of be the closest version of myself. And sometimes I'm like, maybe I should also be doing that on TikTok or even like taking a clip of, because eventually if, if something I say is funny on here, sometimes someone will take it and put it on TikTok and it's nice, but there's a part of me that's like, I get nothing from this. Like, I don't know when, I don't know if it takes people to my videos. Like, sometimes the comments will be like, who is that? He's kind of silly. And like, no one even answers. I'm like, it's Drew Monson. Please subscribe to Drew Monson number two. He has a Patreon as well. Uh, by the way, on my Patreon today, I kind of want to talk about something that has been, um, bothering me, but I'm sort of scared will, um, ups I don't want to put to a larger audience because I'm a, it's, it's just in some insecurity stuff and I'm afraid it's like triggering or something, but it's nice to have a little, um, smaller, small, small community that I can be emotionally overwhelming to, but they are consenting with their dollar bills, bills, y'all. Um, I wrote down some other things about TikTok. I'm scared it'll ruin my entire life. I really am. Like, I, I, I could see my, like, let's play the tape forward. I make a TikTok today. And the thing about, I feel like it, things go wild on there. Like all, someone, that's the scary thing about it is that like, I bet there are like young kids in high school all over the world right now with, you know, 200 followers and the, their algorithm works so quickly. It's just like, boom, all of a sudden someone has a mil, a million people have seen you. Like, I feel like whatever high school is closest to me right now, there's probably at least like 12 kids in there that a million people have seen their face. I could be exaggerating on that, but you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of wild. Like, it's kind of too much sometimes. And the algorithm of TikTok, by the way, that's my other, there's something so creepy about the way people talk about it, like, especially when it first started. Remember everyone was saying like, oh, no, no, you just gotta let the algorithm, like, get to know you. Like, they would say, and like, they would not register that what they were saying was so creepy. Like, oh, no, 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 it doesn't know what you like at first, but you just gotta give it a week. I'm like, that is terrifying. It's literally like, the, no, 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 just, just lay down, let the robot, let the robot just reach its grimy little hand hand into your brain and figure out, mix it up like soup and it'll pull out what you like and then it'll just, just get in your bed, get in your bed like this and it'll show you things forever. I'm like, no, 
I, I mean, not that I'm any better. Like, I'm already being watched and, you know, agreeing to terms and conditions I don't understand for 12 other social media websites. I don't want the one that I'm pretty sure is arguably like the most evil and creepy and tracking like even what you text your friends to figure out what like funny video like is that again is that worth me going ha ha I don't need to go ha ha that much I just don't but again I don't know what's going on um I also wrote down I feel like I may have just uh missed something that I started talking about and I'm sorry someone commented on my video recently they were like he always gets starts talking about a topic and then compl and I get so invested and then he sidetracks and never comes back to it and I was like ah that is frustrating because I know it, that feeling when I watch a video or a podcast and they're like, let me ask you about, and I'm like, oh my God, they're going to talk about that thing that I saw in a magazine 10 years ago and the celebrity never answered. And then all of a sudden they're like, by the way, what time is it? And they start talking about the time for the rest of the hour. Um, so I'm sorry if I do that. The other thing, I wrote down girl who works at DQ because the last time, I, I, maybe someone posted it on Twitter. That's the thing with TikTok. Even if you don't have it, you end up seeing TikToks. The whole internet now is just like TikToks on Twitter, tweets on TikTok, you know, Instagrams on Facebook. I sound like somebody's dad's dad. I sound like a gr and I kind of hate when people say that when it's like a 22 year old like, what am I a grandpa? No, you're a 22 year old. Go swim in the beach. You're a child. What am I talking about? <laughs> Somebody four years younger than me. You're a baby boy. Um, but there's this thing that I saw on like Twitter or something, or my friend sent it to me and they were like saying something about one of their comments and it's this girl who works at Dairy Queen and there's, I'm trying to figure out how to describe this because it was this specific feeling I get where it almost, there's this version of types of TikToks that are sort of like ASMR. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like it almost feels like they kind of, she, she like puts a voiceover. You're going to have to look this up. I feel like maybe you've seen it. She puts a voiceover and it's like, she's so close to the microphone that she's like, and it's not really that interesting what she's saying. Like if you read it on a piece of paper, you'd be like, it'll literally just be her like, today I made a vanilla cone. It was really good. The customer enjoyed it. But when I actually watched the video, she's showing the vanilla cone with like that beautiful iPhone filter. It feels like I'm watching like a beautiful movie that would star Andrew Garfield. And I'm like, wow, seriously? It's like an 18 year old who works at Dairy Queen I guess, still, I don't know, the whole thing is weird too because it's like, she had like a million followers, I'm like, you still work at Dairy, like, is Dairy, is your boss like, yeah, you just work, you are Dairy Queen now, like, you don't have to, you don't have to make nine dollars an hour anymore, like, let's get you a brand deal. I don't really understand, but there was something about it that was so, this is what happens on TikTok for me when I have looked at them, it's like pleasing, but there's a part of, there's a part of my soul or my chest, I can feel going, this is creepy. I don't know why, I don't know what, I'm not saying that she was creepy, but there was something creepy to me about how much I was, an, how much I was enjoying some girl showing me a soft serve at Dairy Queen and doing this like kind of like right up to the microphone like, and this is my, so and I just imagine like a child, and maybe I'm being a pessimist and it doesn't matter, but I imagine like a kid, another 18 year old who isn't, you know, famous for what, who just works at Little Caesars or whatever and is like, why, because that's the thing like why aren't I that when anyone can be famous for literally making a cone of ice cream by the way let me just preface or whatever you'd call it she's good at what she, I'm not saying that she's talentless like she made something that I wanted to keep watching that is worthy in some in some way but if, if anyone can get famous for doing anything it's just a bunch of people going why not me yet because literally they probably know someone you'd be in Alabama that was so mean. I don't know why I just made it sound like it wasn't possible to be famous in Alabama. I know there's Alabama influencers out there and I just want you guys to know, keep rocking, put your cowboy hat on, do the do si -do. you're Miley baby, you're Miley Cyrus. I think I'm a, I'm gonna turn the camera off soon because I'm gonna, I feel myself sugar crashing or about to lose my mind in T minus seven minutes. But do you know what I'm saying? Like there's something about everybody getting famous right now that it, it feels, it used to be like, oh, celebrities are like 
30 people that I could never be anyway, I kind of have this longing feeling of like, oh, wouldn't that be crazy if I was Justin Bieber? But of course I'm not going to be, I'm just a guy. But now it probably feels like, I can't imagine being in high school right now. Like, oh, you know, someone who is literally was me four days ago is now hashtag on Ellen. <laughs> No, probably a person going viral on TikTok. It, by the way, literally, I'll get back on this topic, but it felt like the internet used to be like, you could go viral for like, you know, taking a ball and like throwing it at a cup and Ellen would be like, I'm gonna give you one million cups at a $50,000 college grant. And also we made you a car, it's made out of cups. And everyone would be like, how'd they do that with a cup? And now that exact video, people would just be like, uh, what's, I don't care, like, where's the soft serve? I'd like to see somebody narrating their soft serve. If you don't know about these Dairy Queen videos, what I've been saying for the last 10 minutes is not making any sense. It's this girl, and she, sh I don't know how to explain it. She shows her Dairy Queen the order she, she's like, it's a cone, and I did like a caramel drizzle, and something about her saying caramel drizzle, I'm like, I want to watch the next one. There's something just amazing about it, but I can't imagine being the, you know, girl in rural whatever who works at Dairy Queen and isn't that. Being like, it's not unobtainable anymore, so why don't I have it? I think, I feel, because I don't, I have this perspective of being someone who kind of has it or a version of it. And even me, like sometimes I feel like five years ago I had it and now I have like a fraction of it. And does that make me unworthy or is that just how it works now? It's all so fragmented and confusing that it's, I'm proud of myself for what I, I still do have. And I also am trying very hard not to judge my worth based on it. But I don't really have the perspective of what it would be like to have never had a large amount of attention on the internet. And I can imagine that that can feel frustrating. And I know that sounds like I'm being condescending because I did get a comment once when I said like, people without a platform, and they were like, what a, what a subtle roast of your viewers. Like, which by the way, so, everybody has like some form of a platform. You reply to like a viral tweet and all of a sudden, you know, your tweet has 500,000 impressions on it. Like everybody, that Andy Warhol quote or whatever, I get frustrated sometimes about how true it is because it's the most cliched thing in the world where in the future we'll all be famous for 15 minutes. It like, wow. I, w I wish I could say one thing like that that will define a generation because, man, I should try right now. Let me try to think of one. In the future, oh, it'll start the same way, classic, beginning to a quote. In the future, we're all, let me just throw something out there. What if it happens and then people love, a hundred years from now, they're like, how did he know? In the future, we won't eat cereal anymore. We're all just gonna, um, we're all just gonna eat, we're all, uh, we're all, I'm trying so hard to come up with something right now. We're not gonna wear socks anymore. Cereal will be socks and socks will be cereal. You're gonna see a bowl of uh, pouring milk on some socks and uh, cereal's gonna be all over your feet and you're gonna mush on some cereal. You're gonna just imagine a bunch of shoes full of cereal. Somebody type that whole thing out, that transcript, write it in a book, throw it in a time capsule to make sure global warming doesn't take it out when the internets go down, and uh, they'll open it up and be like, how did he know I'm gonna wear cereal shoes? Was that worth anything? I think I've said what I wanted to say about TikTok. It scares me, the algorithm is intense. Um, just me, anytime I look at them, it, it, it's that feeling I get where I think a lot of like the internet, it can feel kind of fun, but there's so much frustration going on that I don't need, and I'm trying to recognize more because like even when I go on Twitter, I think of Twitter like, oh, let me go on Twitter. That's the place where I see funny things that like entertain me. But if I actually am like mindful about it, which is kind of the way that I like stopped smoking, like how do I actually feel when I smoke a cigarette? It's kind of like that. I go on Twitter. What really happens is I see 1,000 things that frustrate me and like three things that make me go huh or ha 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 and the rest I'm just like why is that popular why are they saying that it's just like that thing where someone says something stupid and then for 48 hours everyone's talking about how stupid it is as if that's productive or doesn't just give more credence 
I hope credence is the right word. I've always wanted to use that word to the person who said the stupid thing in the first place. Okay. Am I ever gonna stop doing like internet analysis time? I had so many other topics, but I guess they'll be for another video. Uh, go to my Patreon if you wanna hear me get more personal. I feel like that's manipulative or something that I'm like, wanna hear the real me? You have to pay for it. It's just gonna be me kind of talking about like, I don't want, I guess, I, you know what? I have every right to clickbait you into paying me. I've been doing this for 15 years and it's only existed for 17. I'm actually feeling okay today. How long is it? Okay, 21. I feel like this was like a 30 minute. I have no idea. Oh, I gotta sing the names of the people who pay me $30 and up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little guitar thing now, and I'm gonna let my I'm gonna make myself stop talking. I am feeling okay today. I was not feeling good yesterday, but you know when you have like a really bad day and you're like tired and you're unfocused, but. In the back, I mean, if you're positive sometimes like me, I've been trying to be more positive about this kind of stuff. In the back of my mind, I'll be going, yeah, but I am tiring, my, that I did not sleep well tonight, but now I'm going to be so tired that I'm gonna wake up rejuvenated. Like, I feel like my whole life is just, didn't sleep well, tired and go crazy, then sleep super well because of the tired and going crazy, then wake up refreshed, then so refreshed that I stay up until 4 a.m. Don't sleep well. It's just this like up and down, but hey, at least half of them I feel good, right? Like that's not so bad. I wouldn't say fully good. I'm sure by around 4 p.m. I'll be like, should I do it? No, don't make that. See, that's what I'd say on TikTok and people would be mad. I just stomped on the floor. I, want, I thought it was gonna be like really loud, but all that happened was I kind of hurt the sole of my foot. Does your foot have a sole? And why would you put cereal on it if it's a living, breathing thing? I don't know. I feel like someone else just took over my body. I'll be right back. This is gonna be a good one. I have a feeling. I like doing this, by the way, because obviously it's extra money, but also I feel like I'm making, like, kind of nice sounding songs. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if part of me is like, are the only these people watching this part of the video? Because otherwise you're, like, jealous if you're not. You're like, why isn't he saying my name? Maybe I should just leave one at the end. I'll just, like, pick a random name. Okay, so now, but I feel like I'm curious if people still just watch to this. Like, what percentage of people are like, no, I kind of like this song of just random usernames and uh, okay, here we go. Like I said someone's name two times so sorry no you know what I can apologizing for something and then getting mad at no no one's here and I'm mad okay Lindsay Stickney got an acapella because I can't figure out how to get these all on one screen. Wow, he can't stop making money. Oh, that's so annoying. Bianca Louise, Serena, Madison, Cambria, Anna Marie, Stacy, Ruby Rainbow, Jacenia Vay.
a Bob Dylan song. It's just the same chords over and over again. And just this, okay. It's more about the lyrics than the melody, and that's why we love Bob. Leon, dumb love, I go, I thought it was Nico. Lucy, E, T, Olivia Smith, Kenya, Haley, Kurila, Olivia Brown, Kathy, Kathy Gans, Winona, Ellen or Elin. For my surprise, this was a long one. My surprise uh, name at the end. Let's see if it's your name. The lottery winner is Bartholomew. No, no, <laughs> that would be nobody's name. Okay, how about like the most typical? Like my analytics tell me a majority is like females. What, like 20 to 27? Or I can't remember what it was. I would say your name is probably Jessica. Now I should do one a little more interesting. What if I did Iris, like the Goo Goo Dolls? I hate when I show too much of my forehead, and I'm like, God, you weren't supposed to see that. Okay, I'm sorry, I really gotta go, but I think I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Emma. A lot of people are named Emma. 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 Thank you, Emma. And anybody else? I get so nervous. Okay, true. We'll talk about it on Patreon. Bye.